Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set up YouTube nodes inside of Vinyan. Now in case you didn't know, Vinyan just recently updated, or well, if you're watching in the future, then it's probably not recent anymore, but Vinyan have native YouTube support, so I will be showing you, or at least guiding you, on how to set it up. Now again, do keep in mind, whatever you want to do with your commands or what you want to do with your setup on YouTube is entirely up to you. This is, this is merely just a guide to help you for those who don't understand how to set it up. So I will do my best to help you out. So, and, and also, uh, before I begin, if you have no idea how to use Vinyan, please check out my other tutorials as I explain in depth on how to use Vinyan and how to set up other nodes here. Not all these nodes that I have, but just a couple of them. So, yeah. But either way, though, um, you should be able to click on the node graph button up here, basically, and you should be able to have the node graph here. Uh, you can be able to add a new graph on the top left here. And basically, um, if you go to where there's callback nodes and you scroll all the way down, you'll see YouTube callbacks. And I'm going to basically be going over each of these and what the heck do they mean. So, YouTube command. YouTube command is referring to, basically, you know how um, with Twitch you have like your channel point redeems? Well, YouTube's equivalent of that would be these commands, basically, because YouTube does not have a channel point system. I mean, technically, if you know your way with WebSockets, you could actually get that working, but natively in Vigna, we do not have a whole point system. You'll probably have to set up a WebSocket probably with a different program, maybe something like streamer bot. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But either way, um, so YouTube command, we can say something like uh, bonk, for instance, just an example. So the command will be exclamation mark bonk. And then we can click on bonk here. And then we can connect these together. Now I cannot, um, because with how YouTube is, you cannot go into the YouTube chat and then type in the command and test it, basically. I mean, you could, uh, but it's not like Twitch where you could just quickly go in there. For YouTube, you're going to have to start up, not private stream. Private stream will not work with the nodes. You have to make it unlisted. Um, or if you do have a, a private account to test on, you could also have that public. But even then, just have an unlisted live stream so that way... The stream isn't shown publicly and you could be able to test however you want. In case you're wondering how to test it, that's how you do it. Anyways, so command, if your chat types in exclamation mark bonk, then this will happen. So yeah, pretty much. Um, and then the next thing is YouTube chat. Now you may be wondering, what the heck is this? This is basically referring to if you get a new message, it's going to do such and such. So you can have it where let's say, um, you let's say if you have a VTS Pog pet, right? Um, if somebody were to chat in your YouTube live stream, um, you'll basically, you can have it where the pet will say, um, like, oh, look, a new message. And then um, you'll be like, oh, look, um, hello to the new person, basically. Like, this will basically, it alerts you on if somebody chatted on your chat, basically, if that makes sense. So you can have it, for instance, a simple head pat, for instance, you know? So we can combine these together, and if somebody randomly chats, then you'll be head patted and boom, chakalaka. Again, you could change however you want, but it's just, again, this is merely a guide. Um, now, Super Chat. Super Chat, if somebody gives you money, um, then it's going to do such and such. So, we can have it where confetti can be triggered, uh, when you get a Super Chat. Somebody gives you, um, let someone gives you a $10 Super Chat, then, boom, confetti. Wah. So, yeah. Um, and then, the next thing is YouTube Sticker. Um, now, I don't like I know what it is but I also don't know how it looks like but basically if somebody sends you a little sticker basically um, which I believe you have to donate for that um, but if someone gives you a YouTube sticker you can have it let's say for instance you can have it where it's at yeet 
Um, so you could be yeeted, like, after, like, you can have it where the power is 10, and then you respawn after 10 seconds. So if YouTube sticker is, um, triggered, then that will basically just happen, basically. So yeah. Um, and then, of course, last but not least, um, you then have YouTube new member. Um, now I'm not sure if this will work on gifted members. I think it should. Um, but basically, if somebody becomes a member of your YouTube channel, uh, basically money, um, you can be able to have a reaction for that. So basically, um, let's say for instance, uh, let's see, let's see. We can have it where, um, just, just like a quick little test. Uh, again, I don't really set up my uh, my node like this, but you can have it where like water will hit your face now I have a different node so my actual just to show you so you don't get confused my actual water command or my actual water redeem It looks like this so let me just like make this bigger so it looks like this by the way So if you want to have like a sort of water command or something, this is what it looks like I actually have I think two tutorials that literally talks about this exact node setup over and over So yeah, and even my beginner node graph also should uh, show that um, But yeah, but either way though um Pretty much just wanted to at least show you that's how I do my water actually. But just to show you for testing purposes or at least demonstration, uh, we can have just, um, we can have it where the water, if somebody becomes a new member, then there'll be water in the face basically. So yeah, pretty much just like that. Um, but overall, that should be pretty simple to follow. Again, there's not too much to it basically it's really simple to set up if you want to do again if you want to do a whole channel point system you're gonna probably have to use streamer bot instead for that method which I don't uh, as in the time of the, making this tutorial I do not know how to make a whole channel point system um, but again uh, I believe there are other tutorials you can check out for that sort of case and before you go I almost forgot um, so in case you're wondering how on earth do you actually connect the YouTube account to Vignon well sadly it's not automatic per se you're gonna have to always click on this button every t like when you go live right when you go live uh, and you want to get you know start using Vignon you have to click on this button because YouTube API does not like automatic stuff for the most part for some reason so yeah um, but either way um, in order to actually get your channel connected though, you're gonna click on the settings here. Uh, then you're gonna, of course, go onto YouTube here. And as for channel ID, you do not put the full link. You only put what is at the ending, which is shown right here, YouTube integration. Um, you only type in the ending, basically. So if you have the proper name of your channel here, you put that. Um, if you don't, if you don't have the properly name, and you know you only have like the gibberish, and you put the gibberish um, ID in there instead. It's the ending. It shows it right here. Same thing with video ID. If the channel thing does not work, then just put in the video ID to keep it easier. Keep in mind, video IDs, depending on the stream, it will always change basically. So, um, so do keep in mind that you know. If you're gonna do it this mess, you're gonna have to always change this. But if you have this to your channel ID, you don't have to change it all the time. And all you simply have to do is always click on YouTube login um, whenever you go live, basically. So yeah. Um, but pretty much that is how you actually connect uh, your YouTube to Vignon, pretty much. Uh, and of course, it will let you know that if you're not live right now, it will basically reject you. Um, until you go live and then you press the button basically that's how it works basically but even then though um, I hope that this tutorial at least helps you out in regards to setting up Vignon for YouTube yes I do have an old tutorial about Vignon with YouTube and such but this is a lot more convenient honestly and I prefer um, I prefer this method and I hope that you guys like this method too um, and in case you're wondering eventually Vignon does have plans for kick support not sure when, but it's gonna happen. 
I don't use kick myself, but, you know, um, just keep an eye out for that update whenever it happens. Or at least, maybe it might come out, I, I don't know, future person. Uh, but either way, though, I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!